Look, I think it's right over there. Uh, look out. The hell is that? Yo, what I guys are back here for another episode of Scooby Doo Mystery Incorporated Season 2, Episode 16 Aliens Among Us. Honestly, starting where we're heading at Scooby Doo, honestly, I can believe it. <laughs> honestly, can believe it. It's a real alien. At this point, like, it might not just be people in masks, especially when we got last episode, like, we got this ghost technically of Nubiru and the past of Crystal Cove and the Panospheric Disc and how they came to be and stuff like that and the, the animals might betray you because of the curse. It's like, damn, bro, this is a lot to take in, to be honest. <laughs> but let's get into this. Thank you guys for clicking the video. to appreciate it. And let's go. Senor P. Yave. Like, what kind of name is what? that? What? Longitude Latitude? Galactic. I like to see what the hell he's talking about. Galactic war. Okay, buddy, calm down. Galactic? I was 14, home alone, doing what all kids did when their mom was gone. Rifle through her drawers, looking for old candy and a used lipstick container I could store my baby teeth in. All right, let's get it. Let's fast forward. All right. There I was, wait one night in the closet, playing dead justice and pretending to dead, yeah, of course. Wazinski. This bright light appeared. So what does that have to do with nowadays? Uh, gray what? A gray alien, you know, with dinky little bodies, great big heads, smooth hair. Okay. Head. That was like 40 years ago, bro. Why does that matter now? As I was trying to say, they took me to their saucer and put a chip in my nasal cavity so they could track me. Have you told anyone else about this? Like maybe a licensed psychiatric professional? Maybe. <laughs> Hopefully. Well, take a look at this. And there's been two seasons. When did we get a mall? <clears throat> Hello, not real law enforcementers. I'm Sheriff Bronson Stone. This is a minor theft, Sheriff. Some high-tech GPS thingamajigger. It's a cray. Hide me. I don't know, Sheriff. It kind of looks like a kid in a sweatshirt. There's another one. Holy battle beyond the stars. It's a Nordic alien. Can you calm down? What's that? A reptoid. Shapeshifters from Alpha. My God, bro. <laughs> from all sides. This video has to be edited. <laughs> they're really here and that is to conquer and enslave us is that why the lizard aliens came here too no the reptoids are already here living well, in the middle of our bro i am so lost to be honest oh he might be onto something Mike, it's coming back. <laughs> prepare yourselves i think we're about to be abducted. <laughs> why would you all split up in a cornfield that that's legitly top of what top five of my worst fears to ever come true you can't have me you alien freaks like sheriff what do I even say, bro? Like, if he wasn't, I think he is dating the mayor. We need a new sheriff. I don't even care anymore. I know someone who can help us. Although I'm sure I'm going to regret asking her. Alien invasion. Oh, sweetie. You have no idea how happy this makes me. Do you know? The government formed a secret agency called Majestic 12 to deal with the alien menace. They focus mainly on the greys. No matter how many letters I write, they still neglect the reptoid threat. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Do you know that most people who claim to have seen a UFO have really just seen the planet Venus? Mrs. Dinkley, do you really think you can help us? Certainly, dear. Please raise your right hand, dear. Now, don't be frightened, Sheriff. I won't make you quack like a duck or flap your arms. <laughs> tell me about the light. They'd come to me over the years. I knew I'd been repeatedly probed. But I had no memory of it. Repeatably? Okay, buddy. And then what happened, dear? I was trapped in its creepy alien light. They 
It took me to their ship and replaced the chip in my schnoz with... The aliens need my brain! They're gonna steal my brain! Must not be very complicated plans. <laughs> what was that? That's what I'm saying, Velma. Like, I think it's right over there. Uh, look out! The hell is that? They've been here a long, long time. They want my brain. You... You have to protect my brains. While you guys are having your little sleepover, Scooby Shaggy and I have some investigating to do. Will you take Nova for the night? Dad, I'm home. It's only me. No one else. Honey, come see my new toy. It's a car. In the... Damn. It's right here in my dining room. And what more perfect case could there be? Enjoy the car, sir. Such wonderful customer service. Yeah, of course there would be wonderful customer service. The car was at least 10 mil. There's nothing more awesome than love. Well, except for traps. I remember what it was like to feel love for somebody. It was like some Amazonian river fish had laid eggs in my chest. Uh huh? You have to help me keep my brain. You can count on Mystery Incorporated to save your brain, Sheriff. Now. Yeah, you, you could, bro. They get the job done. Literally, they are at the best of the best. No alien, bro. I know who that is. Like, I don't know who that is, but I'm just saying I know who that is. He skittered away like a greyfish right back to the mainland. His arms full of rotten day old clams that had been sitting in the sun too long. Thanks, Skipper. That's helpful. Hey, buddy, that don't sneak up on Daphne. She about to hit you with a seven piece combo. Should we look? <laughs> like for the first time ever. Oh wait, it's uh, it might be the guy, his deputy. He might be wanting payback. Jinkies, that's it. Weren't there three mysterious figures at the mall? Boys, we've cracked this mystery wide open. Or them? But who the hell are they? We will have after I make some phone calls to the power company in the army. Going on? Who's rubbing my baby? Car, my beautiful Pangea. <gasps> to be fair, though, you have how many more cars, bro? <laughs> Hold on, everyone. It's trapping time. Oh, I didn't know you get your car could do all that. Hey, who? Sheila O'Flaherty. Who? And Connor O'Flaherty. And who? Were that it were, boyo, then perhaps we could have earned an honest living. When I was a wee lad, we couldn't even afford peat for our fire. But then I discovered there were things I could steal other than coal. And wouldn't you know it, my kids had an aptitude for the family business as well. Wait, these are your kids? Oh, <laughs> I thought you guys were all siblings. Hi. It was then we got the idea for the costumes because who'd ever say they saw an outer space creature stealing a flat screen television set why do you steal the space cook suit then aliens the cornfield my nose chip actually sheriff during your hypnotic regression shaggy and scooby smelled something on your breath bad clams the clam oh loose okay yeah everything connected the lights on the road a weather balloon that got loose from the army. And the mystery machine fritzing out? Too many people turning on their air conditioners at the same time created an electromagnetic pulse that shut the mystery machine. Yeah? Wh huh? Repeatedly abducted and experimented on by aliens? Doesn't seem so, Sheriff. But I'm no longer a victim. And you are. I'm no longer a victim. You were. You never were. Going away for a long, long time. Have one big mystery to solve the planospheric disc i took the liberty of punching in the coordinates into the mystery machine's gps hey who's playing that or primero yave primero means first in spanish and yave is key but maybe there's some kind of key in the coffin scoob you feel like they oh wait, I'm feeling like fighting the planetary disc, and like it wasn't just that's all you have to do. 
Now I feel like there's a whole scavenger hook for this. It's empty. Like, what does an old gun have to do with a key? No idea, Shad. It is the key. We're not gonna figure it out here. I say we head back to Damn, I know it was mystery. Good thing nobody was inside. Somebody could have gotten really hurt. It's like, God, bro. I hate, I, bro, I cannot express how much I hate them. Mystery and his cl clown and misfit. Oh my God, like, y'all you're, are too old to be acting like this. I am sorry. I'm an advocate of, you're everybody's young. Y'all are too old for this, man. Just give it up. Especially Fred's parents. Like, if a Fred finds it, he would probably share it with you if you were nice to him. Like, there, there's something more to it for you guys. There has to be. It's like, you don't you don't want Fred to find it. You want to be the ones finding it. Because there's no way the curse is infecting them. Then again, I don't know how the curse works. I don't even know what's going on half the time. So I, I thought when we find the plants for this, we get the treasure. Obviously, that's not the case. Plants for this were just like a map that lead us to the first goddamn step. And then it's going to be next step and the next step and the next step. Because I was confused on why there was still uh, quite a bit of episodes left. I'm like, damn, we've just found the Planet's Fairy Disc. We found all of them. Why the hell is there like 10 episodes left? <laughs> like, what? What, what? what could it be, possibly be going on? So I'm assuming there's more stuff. Alien, Bronson, I just knew I had to be make-believe. I had faith. I'm like, this show, I would understand if it's kind of aliens, you know? Nope. As soon as Bronson came in, I'm like, okay, well, now I'm down to 50%. Aliens might be real. And then I saw the camera footage. I'm like, eh, maybe. And the, the light and then the Mr. Machine going out. I'm like, okay, okay. Uh, this could be aliens. The crop circle, whatever. I never believe that. That's always a hoax, fake, uh, make believe. It wasn't really, that one was out the window. But then they were talking about lizard people in the center of the earth and stuff like that. And I, honestly, they lost me there. Not gonna lie. And then they brought it back. But then Space Coop showed up. Oh, the, the girl in Space Coop. I'm like, that's not an alien. So it is just normal people. So yeah, I don't even know, man. These random villains. <laughs> they, they were actually random villains. Like nobody knew who they were. And they were just on a wanted poster. Okay, I guess. <laughs> I would have never guessed that one, but it was a great episode. Thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace, peace, bye-bye. Have a great day.